a perfect day to get started on repairing that Japanese-Italian-Chinese engineering marvel called the Rex Escape. Last time, we replaced the carburetor because it had its own issues, but that didn't save us. We've got low compression, which is why the idle won't hold. At least, that's what I think. Whether that's the case or not, we'll find out in this episode. So, let's drop the engine and see what we've got and why our little Windrider scooter won't idle properly. If you're interested, subscribe to the channel and, as usual, enough chatting, let's get to work. Magical Engine greets us in our workshop. And on top of that, the cylinder head thread is damaged. I'll try to show you now. Not sure if you'll see it, but here goes. See that thread? Beautiful, huh? And because of that, the whole head is all gunked up. When I started it, I saw smoke and couldn't figure out what was going on. It was shooting out right here. See that thread? You should be able to see it when it wears the focus. There, it's damaged in places and lets compression out through the spark plug. So, let's go ahead and order our parts. Specifically, a piston kit and a new head. I think everything will work out. Leave your comments. Do you think we'll get this thing running properly or not? We've gotten to the truth. Here's what it looks like. Here's our little piston. And look at the condition it's in. The pin is jammed. I can't get it out. It's stuck on the needle bearing. I've never seen anything like that. On a needle bearing, the pin isn't rotating like usual. It moves like a clock hand. The piston is wrecked. The cylinder is completely trashed. I already showed you the head, but I'll show you again. We've also got no thread here. The exhaust gases are coming out, and they're igniting. I looked at the valve cover. It's burned through on the side. See that? It's leaking from under the head near the spark plug. Took a closer look and realized it's just burned through. So, let's go order our new head and piston kit and get everything replaced. For you, a, a little time lapse. For us, a few days. Our piston kit has arrived, and as you've seen from the picture, it it's not your usual one. I ordered a Teflon-coated piston. I'm curious to see how it looks. Nicely packaged. Okay, we've got all the gaskets. That's good. Let's see what we've got. Yep, it's a TMMP piston kit. I'll leave a link in the video description if anyone's interested. Everything looks good. There's even a stamp. Very nice. So, we've got rings, the pin. Whoa, look at this beauty. Here's our Teflon-coated piston. Let's see what this coating can actually do. Does it work or not? Let's install it and see how many miles we get out of it. We installed our piston kit, and honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. The ports at the bottom are completely open, and at the top the piston reaches all the way to the end. That's great to see, it means that TMMP at least got the measurements right. As for durability, we'll see later. The scooter isn't far off from being road ready. We'll see how that Teflon piston performs. So far, I'm happy with it. I did file the ports a bit since I've got a Dremel. My wife gave it to me both for the piston kit and the Dremel. 
I smoothed the port edges a bit, but overall the key, the casting looks decent. So in theory, it's a good buy. In practice, we'll see. So enough talking, let's get assembling. My replacement valve cover just arrived. It's used but in great condition. The threads look solid. So let's get everything back together and we'll be happy campers, but that's not guaranteed. We took out our reed valve. It's dirty, but how do you check if it's working? Just blow into it. Yeah, if you hear that musical sound, it means everything's fine. The pedals are sealing properly, so turns out there was no point in opening it up. But now we know for sure that it's working. I'll throw in a new gasket. The old one was dried out. Wouldn't want to reuse that. By the way, Mr. Hever sent us some Yamaha parts. Big thanks again. As you can see, they're already coming in handy. I should have remembered earlier that you sent me a carb and skipped buying that Chinese one. But, oh well, it is what it is. We'll save it for next time. So go ahead and give Mr. Haver a thumbs up. We'll use that gasket, install everything back, and we'll know 100% that our reed valve is in perfect working order. No questions there. <laughs> engine is back in place. Everything seems good. I reconnected some wiring. All that's left is installing the carburetor and testing out our new piston kit with the new carb. So let's get to it and fire up this beast. of truth. If only those damn swamps hadn't cut our power, we could have started it with a drill. It would have been perfect. But everything's connected. We've got spark. Time to crank it up. running, which is great news, but it clearly needs carb adjustment. Let's figure out how to fix that. But hey, it started and that's awesome. Look at this idol. Quiet, clean, smooth, a huge improvement. I won't keep it running long since we've got no cooling. I'll install the fan, cooling shrouds, seat, and we'll take this monster for a test ride. Everything seems good so far. We'll see how it holds up.
So here's our little Windrider scooter. Everything's working great, running smoothly. Starts with half a turn, no throttle, and just like it should. I'll even show you. Just turn the key, don't touch the throttle. Magic, and off we go. Quiet, clean, smooth. Now we just need to properly break in the new piston kit. And we're golden. I don't know how it'll perform, what the lifespan is, or what that full Teflon coating will give us. But so far, it looks well made. The ports, the clearances, all on point. So yeah, you can go ahead and get one. Definitely a safe buy. What blew my mind though, the carburetor. The LiPi carb. It fit like one too, click, click, and it started right up. Everything's running, acceleration is smooth, throttle response is great. No bogging, just pulls strong and steady. So if you need one for a Yamaha, the LiPi carb is a gem for the price. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget about the Ukrainian armed forces. We're here tinkering with toys while the boys out there are defending our country. That's all from me. Bye-bye.